Um, I think FSG do need to go out and spend in January. I don't think they will. Did you see the report yesterday Moolah, um, about Jude Bellingham and like how he want like apparently he's favoured uh, or his camp favours him to move to Real Madrid and that he preferred that option over joining Liverpool. Again, sauce might be as legit as barbecue sauce, but it's something that might be worth talking yeah. about in a sense that he's literally like what we're banking our hopes on. But if we don't get European football and we're not competing and we're not improving and we're around playing Bellingham, this bad. and we're playing this bad, how are we going to get I him? wouldn't want to... If, you, if you've gone from being the star boy in Birmingham, the wonder kid star boy in Dortmund... Why the hell? And then you're getting Real Madrid calling you up and being yeah, like, Real Madrid's Madrid one, yeah. Liverpool one, yeah. But at the same time, we're very, very... Un- underperforming is an understatement. Massive. Do you know what I mean? You would, even though Real Madrid aren't really who they used to be, like, I don't know. I'd pick them if I, I was Like, him. if I look at our midfields and I think, like, I love Fabinho. I love Fabinho. But he has been... He need, I, I want him gone. I'm, go- I'm going to be honest. Ooh. I want him gone. He's okay. pissed me right off the past few games. Performance-wise? Yeah. Yeah. Like, and when he was having bad games like that, he, he always had that strong defensive side. Mm. And it's like he's just being made of chopsticks at the moment. Yeah. No, I, 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 do you know what I know? It's, it's the turn and it's the, it's the mobility, he's, Mario. He looks, yeah, he looks he very slow. He's probably 40 it's, or something on his hips. It's dead just slow. Like, do you know they came out that he was 45 and that's why he's bald? I would, yeah. I would believe it. I would believe it. And Honestly, we just caught the ends of his prime. Yeah, when I he feel joins like us. you know, like he hasn't showed really any like the class that we know him as. So yeah, would you? So the reason why I wouldn't sell for being yo, and it's not because based of anything you've just said, because mm. I agree, his performances have not been good enough. And to be honest, I do think it could just just based on the fact he's been slower consistently. Mm. Either he's got an injury that he's just trying to play through, or. There's the alternative method that he just might be on the decline, which means we've got to start preparing for that. Do you know how old he is? 28. 28? 28, which is Fabinho mad. Fabinho is 1993. F- so like, no, he's, that's a lie. The world's lying to us. He's 45? There's no way he's 28. <laughs> I'm 24. He's four years older than me. That is moody when you put it 1993, like <laughs> Fabinho, I think. No, that's a bare face lie. He's 1983. <laughs> <laughs> if that, when you put it like that, though, it is mad that 20, he's 28. 24, you're 24. That's, that's, a, that's such a lie. I know, he looks a bit older. I just think the reason why we won't is because we've got Oxlade there who probably won't be getting a new contract. Oh, Naby who isn't favoured at the moment. And then you've got Thiago who's never fit really himself. I think for being yo, especially with the long term contract that he's on, it's the last of our priorities to yeah, get rid of. Yeah, I hundred percent agree with but that. But I agree with you when you say about the problems and stuff like that. But if we did, uh, like, if everybody else that you've just listed then was performing, and he still was performing the way he is performing at this moment in time, then it'd be something to consider. Mm. Definitely, definitely. Mario, what's your thoughts on the I whole think situation? Ab- uh, about Fabinho or about the injuries? Probably <clears throat> just your conclusion on what you think we should do. Ruby said that she thinks Fabinho could be on his way out or or, or she thinks that that could be a good option to go with. Um, mm, I want to know no. your thoughts on what's the state of the midfield options? Who do you think you get rid of? And who do we bring in if people like Jude Bellingham aren't realistic? Uh, of course, Jude, Jude Bellingham is a dream for us. Massive. Uh, He's just 19 years old. He's the same age of Elliot, but he's already scored eight goals this season for uh, for Dortmund. And he's a midfielder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In every game of the Champions League this season, he scored a goal. Yeah. Um, Who's that? Sorry. Jude, Jude Bellingham. Bellingham. Oh, I'm uh, just from, the He's just 19. And uh, I, I remember when Steven Gerrard was 19 and he wasn't that good. When he was yeah, 19, yeah, Steven yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think Jude Bellingham, uh, and now of course, Jude's had more goals to his had game. Had more goals, now. and and the way he plays is is just incredible for that age. I never see a midfielder on that age plays in that way. He's just unbelievable. And of course, uh, for me, he's a proper dream because with him, probably our mid- midfield is, is is okay for the next ten years. <laughs> um, he can really make the difference. But I'm not pretty sure that we can spend because he's he's not going to cost 100 million he's mm-hmm. going to cost probably 150 million or yeah. probably even more um, uh, so about the Fabinho situation Fabinho was is still one of my favorite players for Liverpool Same, for me he's still actually, one of the like most some of these players though like it's like a family member that you really really exactly. love yeah. like, exactly it's like, it's like Same. having a son or, or, or an uncle that's temporarily live, living with you and they don't pick up the boxes after themselves. Or <laughs> like, say, especially a girl problem where they don't 
put the toilet seat all up. You know what I mean? Where they don't put the, like shit like that. Yeah. Girls piss him at the toilet seat up. No, I'm saying like the uncle. Oh, isn't, sorry. So it pisses <laughs> off the girl. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel sorry. me? You yeah. Feel, and you never know. They might do a little squat. Yeah, your house must be hella dirty if you've got to do that then. No, <laughs> yeah, 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 you're telling me when you're in a public bathroom, you don't do a little, just like a little hover. But you put toilet paper down? Yeah, do that is also around. a big shout. I don't know. I love I've got bad knees, I can't be doing that. Oh, mate, <laughs> these legs are in prime mode when it comes to desperate times, calling for desperate measures. And I'll yeah, tell but you you're now, sitting down for different reasons, I do mate. use the, um, do you know, the, the, the toilet, toilet paper You're thing. why they're all hanging off the walls. <laughs> <laughs> in the unisex ones, you're hanging, they're hanging off the walls as well. I just do this and I'm like, how many forearms have been on this exact spot right here? <laughs> and it's a very interesting topic of conversation I'm having in my own. Brain. It's interesting, pass from Fabinho to the toilet. Yeah, it's nice. No, it's nice. I, <laughs> I think, yeah, I no. I mean, makes sense, you know. <laughs> it's fine. If also, if you're a girl and want to come on the, the podcast, let me know because I'm so outnumbered in so many conversations. Oh, we make you one of the boys. What you mean? Oh yeah, I love it. We don't, we don't leave you out at all. Oh yeah, I love it. Let me Why just go. Are you talking about you don't love. Let me yet. just go buy a shiwi so we can all be in the same <laughs> conversation. <laughs>